Welcome, I'm Scott. When an attacker goes to use a password he's captured, first he must decrypt it. In today's session, you'll see how he does it and learn why it's so important to create strong passwords. To decrypt passwords, attackers choose from many different tools known as password crackers. Some are expensive commercial programs, some are free for anyone to download from the internet, and people do by the thousands. In this demonstration, I used Loftcrack 5, a commercial password cracker. Loftcrack was designed specifically to extract passwords from encrypted files. If you're an attacker, typically you would sneak onto a network, locate the encrypted password file, and then send a copy of it to yourself so you can crack it at your convenience. But Loftcrack can also be used like a wiretap. You could place it surreptitiously on a network and capture encrypted passwords traveling across the network as users log in. However you got them, once you have encrypted passwords, Loftcrack can launch a whole arsenal of automated attacks to decrypt them. For example, it performs a dictionary attack in many languages, such as German, Spanish, French, or English. Loftcrack also performs a dictionary hybrid attack. Computer users who know about dictionary attacks will garble their passwords so that it is not a dictionary word. For example, if your password contains the word action, you might spell it ACT10N. But Loftcrack can check for that, too. If needed, Loftcrack can resort to brute force. Brute force means calculating every possible password and trying each one. It's considered the last resort because performing all those calculations is slower. But slow is a relative term. Let me explain. To encrypt your password, Windows performs a mathematical formula on it called a one-way hash. A hash is a number generated from a string of text. It's easy to go from the text to the hash, but should be impossible to look at the hash and figure out the text. That's the one-way part. But the Windows hash formula is widely known, so a password cracker can take a list of words, hash each one, and see if the result matches any of the hashed words in the encrypted file. Even a boring old Pentium 2 PC can calculate and compare hashes at a rate of almost a million tries per second. A Pentium 4 machine can check almost 5 million per second. So, if a stock PC can calculate and try millions of possible passwords per second, why do I say brute force is slow? Because a password with only 10 characters has more than one sextillion possible character combinations. Even burning through combinations at a rate of 5 million per second, it would take around 7.5 million years for a Pentium 4 computer to try all possible combinations. And for each character you add to the password, the number of possible combinations increases exponentially. People who have calculated all the possible hashes for shorter passwords have saved the results for others to use. We refer to this as a rainbow table. By using a rainbow table, a computer gets to perform matches instead of calculations. This goes much faster, and that's why we say brute force is slow. But brute force is guaranteed effective if the attacker has enough time. Now that I've introduced you to basic password cracking concepts, let's test Loftcrack against a representative password file you might find on a Windows Active Directory server. Our test tries to track about 25 or 30 accounts. We use passwords ranging from pathetically simple to very strong. Which ones are weak and which are the strong ones? Magic Loftcrack shall reveal them all. Here's what Loftcrack looks like. I've pointed it at the file on my test machine containing the sample passwords. I'm going to start it, then leave it on the screen for 30 seconds so you can see what it does in real time. Here goes. In this right column, you can glimpse how fast Loftcrack is working. It has already cracked three weak passwords, golf, password, and superintendent. No matter how long the word is, if it's straight from the dictionary, Loftcrack's going to get it. Let's jump ahead. 
Five minutes later, Lovecrack has cracked more passwords. CTO is not in the dictionary, but it's so short it was easy to brute force. Same for HIPAA. Loftcrack's default dictionary is small and contains the word opportune, but not the word opportunity. That's the only reason it took a few minutes to break this word. After one day of running continuously, my cracker has broken two more passwords, Menudo and 546321. This illustrates that almost any short password is a weak password. Although it took Loftcrack a week to break some of the harder passwords, that's not that long. Consider how many months you use the same password. That provides more than enough time for a crook to run his tools. After one week of running continuously, Lovecrack had calculated many of our passwords. Impressed with Lovecrack's speed and strength? Well, we were not even using its strongest settings. We used a very short English dictionary that's Lovecrack's default where a real attacker would use a much longer dictionary. And we didn't even use rainbow tables. A real attack would have broken these passwords much more ferociously. Let's look at the passwords that Lovecraft did not break and see what we can learn about strong passwords. Obviously, longer passwords are stronger. But how long is long enough? How many characters does a password need in order to realistically slow down an attacker? The answer might surprise you. Due to a quirk in the way most versions of Windows store passwords, a 14-character password can look to a cracker like two 7-character passwords. Because of exponential math, a 14-character password should be very strong, but this quirk in Windows greatly weakens it. The bottom line? We recommend you use 15 characters or more in your password. Instead of thinking password, it's better to think passphrase. But how do you think up a long, crack-resistant password? And more to the point, once you think it up, how do you even remember it? Your presenter is about to show you a method for creating strong passwords that you'll find surprisingly easy and maybe even a little bit fun. No password is totally unbreakable, but if it takes an attacker more than a week to crack your password, odds are he'll give up and move to an easier target. So now you know why strong passwords, sorry, passphrases matter. Thanks for watching.